This is part 6 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to register services with the ASP.NET Core dependency injection container. Ultimately, here is what we want to be able to do. Retrieve the list of employees and display them using our Razor Pages web application project as you can see right here. For our Razor Pages project to be able to retrieve and display the list of employees, it needs to have a reference to these two projects because the models project contains our entities and the services project contains the data access service. So let's right click on the dependencies folder and select add reference. On the projects tab, we can see both the projects here. Let's select them and click OK. Notice under dependencies, we have projects and under projects, we have both the project dependencies. Now it's the index page in the employees folder that has to retrieve and display the list of employees. So let's open both the display template and the page model class. Our services project contains the data access service I employee repository. So let's inject this service into this page model class. For that, we need a constructor. So let's include it. I employee repository is in Razor Pages tutorial dot services namespace. Let's bring that in and let's name this employee repository. We want a private field to be generated. We can very easily generate that in Visual Studio by pressing control period and then select this option create and initialize field employee repository. Next in this page model class, we want to include a public property that is going to hold the list of employee objects. The type of the property is going to be I enumerable of employee objects. This employee type is present in a different namespace. Let's bring that in by pressing control period and let's call our property employees. The display template index.cshtml will have access to this employees property. Just below the h1 element, let's include an h3 element and then display the total count of employees. Notice when I type at model dot we can see the employees public property because the model for this display template is index model which is this class right here and within this class we have this employees property as a public property so through this at model we can access that public property employees and then let's display the count using the count method we have only declared this employees property. We have not yet initialized it anywhere. Let's initialize this property inside this onGet method. Remember, this method is called when a GET request is issued to this index razor page. So employees equals our injected employee repository dot get all employees. With all these changes in place, let's run our project by pressing Control F5. We see the home page without any issues. Now this index page is in the employees folder. So to get to this index page, we have to use the path slash employees slash index. We have an exception, unable to resolve service for type I employee repository while attempting to activate index model. Our index model is right here and into this class we are injecting I employee repository service. So at runtime, when an instance of this class is created, ASP.NET Core dependency injection system has to inject an instance of the concrete class that implements this interface, I employee repository. As a developer, we know it is this mock employee repository class that implements the interface and an instance of this class should be provided. But ASP.NET Core dependency injection system does not know that. So we basically have to tell the ASP.NET Core dependency injection container that it has to provide an instance of this class when I employee repository is requested. And we do that in configure services method of the startup class. This method has an incoming parameter services which is of type i service collection on this parameter we have add singleton method which we can use to register our interface and the concrete type that implements the interface so the interface is i employee repository let's bring in the required namespace which is razor pages tutorial dot services and our concrete implementation is mock employee repository as the name implies, 
add singleton method provides a single instance of this class. In addition to add singleton, we also have add scoped and add transient methods. We discussed the differences between these methods in detail in part 44 of our ASP.NET Core beginners course. So let's save these changes and then reload our web page. There we go. We no longer have the exception and see the total count of employees which at the moment is 4. That's because if we take a look at mock employee repository we have got 4 employee objects. In our next video we'll implement how to display the list of employees as you can see right here instead of the count. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.